Earth signs. Welcome to Healing Hype Man. We're doing the big hat vibe for the month of September. If you like hats, check out American Hat Makers. I think it's pretty dope. This is going to be um, a message for you for September. Let's check out where your head is at, where your heart is at, and what you're actually producing outwards. Um, and we'll kind of get into that, right? For Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. See where your head is at. The month of September. Strength in reverse. Maybe we're a little bit... We're not as confident as we normally are, right? I gotta be honest for you guys. It is This is a month about money and not necessarily coming in. But it is about worth for Earth signs. It's about spending money on yourself or someone else. And it's about separating your work life and your private life. You know, so maybe there might be some, I'm holding back on some confidence or there might be something that you're not as secure about in your life, in your mind, right? You're telling, that's, that's just in your mind space. So your mind is saying, I'm not pretty confident on this. Let's kind of see what else is coming out. What's in your heart? Okay, your heart's a little, your heart could be a little wounded. Your heart space, could just also be very tired, right? You know, you could overall just be a little tired and you're more in a vibe of like, I just want to chill. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to have to show up to the world if I'm not 100% confident and secure in that for the month of September. Let's see what, you, what you're producing, what you're showing the world. Four of Cups in reverse. You might be taking on a lot here. Um, and it could come from this is what you're showing up, how you're showing up in the world. So you're not being, you, I don't want to say you're not. The vibe that I'm getting here is that you could be doing the most. And it, doing the most could very well want you to pull back for a little bit. For Taurus and Taurus Rising, it's about more money equals more work for the month of September. Um, more work equals more money, but that's also how, how, that very well could be diminishing your, you know, if you're tired, then you're not going to produce what you normally do produce. Um, if you're in a lack mentality that you don't think you're, you're worthy of it or you can do it, that could produce, you know, some emotional baggage or some emotional strain, like I'm not worthy of it here. I'm not saying that you're not worthy of it. This is more of just an overall energy aspect. Uh, money very well can be on your mind for Virgo suns or Virgo risings. You're really looking at your private life versus your your work life, and you want to keep them separate. Um, I, I I can actually see that here. It's like you know I don't want to be confident in everything. I want to be able to go home and like relax. And when I have to show up, I show up because just because it's reverse doesn't mean that you're that you don't have it. It's just an aspect of your life in your headspace. You're just like I don't want to show up here. I need to show up physically. Maybe that's the type of role that you have, or that's what your career life is like. And for Capricorn rising or Capricorn sun, Capricorn rising, Capricorn sun, it's it's really about buying yourself something nice. You know, maybe maybe buying yourself something nice here might might give you that drive again to be like, okay, if I can buy myself something nice, then I'm worthy of more. Um, Four of Cups in, of how you're showing up. Just tell me you're not being really particular about certain things in your life. Um, you could also think that nothing is worthy. Nothing is worthy of your time, because um, you're not being necessarily stubborn. But you could just be taking on things that might actually drain you a little bit. Might actually drain you a little bit. So I would be cautious with with the work that you're doing, because you're working hard this month, right? Earth signs. Make sure that it's worth juggling, right? That it's actually worth your time. I'm looking at this. Um, yeah, that's how I kind of would see that. Let's see, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, sacrifice. Wow, this is, these are spot on. Some of you very well can be making a sacrifice at work and it could actually drain you a bit. Um, like I said, work-life balance, working hard equals more money. I think there's a sacrifice here. Oof, and... 
it could have a little damper on you, but just know that this is energy that's just passing by that it'll soon change, you know, if it's if it's if you feel like it's too much. But at the end of the day, there will be gains for you from making sacrifices in the workplace or even in your personal life. Um, and not to take on everything or, and to be honest, maybe you might take on everything and that's what gets you to the gains, you know? Just keep into context all these aspects in case they come up for you. And where we're going, you're moving forward. It's pushing you forward, right? There's some sacrifices you gotta make and there's some, there's some sacrifices that you might not make. You might just take it all on, to be honest. The chariot here, you're moving forward, you continue, this is pushing you forward. There's a drive here. It's a drive to stability. Earth sides are all about the pentacles and the stability at the same time. Um, and isn't it? Yeah. And you have to make choices. You're putting a plan together. You're, wouldn't be surprised, you know, this is, I'm filming this in the Virgo New Moon, so you're probably detailing this out in what this very well might look like for you moving forward uh, in the next, for September. Two of Cups, you're really looking at your partners, who you want to engage with, who you're giving your time to um, in the upright at the same time. I love this aspect here too, too. You're working on something. You're putting something into play and you're pushing it forward. It could be a partnership, could be a relationship, could be a job, could be a work endeavor. Anything that has to do with, you know, two people, you're kind of driving it forward, putting a plan in place and pushing it forward, make, paying attention to your Taurus energy here, to your lessons that you've learned and, and maybe incorporating some spiritual practices in there to keep you grounded in some sort of way. But you're, you're, earth signs are doing it traditional, you know, like you're doing it traditional and that requires sacrifice. Knight of Swords, you're not really speaking up about certain things. You're not in a vibe to fight with anybody, to be honest, either. You're just, you're kind of just working hard and driving that forward here. Even if that, even if that means you have to sacrifice some happiness. Wow. Yeah. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, some sacrifices we're making in the month of September. Let's get some... Be where you are. Every situation has its gift. To move forward, we must first honor where we are for now. Where you are is where you need to be. Where, what you're doing and what you're sacrificing is exactly how it's supposed to be done. If I think about it on a traditional standpoint, you know, you got to do it the hard way or the long way or the right way. No cutting corners. I don't think you guys ever cut corners in anything. Because you want to make sure you do it right and you do it right the first time. Self-love equals self-discipline. Keep your word to yourself. Fall in love with how you feel when you are taking care of you. Taking care of yourself and giving yourself those positive words of affirmation that you can, you can do things and that you are capable of more and that sacrifice will have a return on investment in some sort of way for you. Um... Just being disciplined with yourself and definitely making sure you're taking care of yourself as you work hard. Again, it's just energy that's moving, so it very well will train, change and transition as you flow with it, as the seasons change. Don't complicate it. The truth is simple. You already have the answers. Accept people and situations exactly as they are. It will bring you clarity and peace. I feel like you are, like that's the sacrifice. That's the sacrifice aspect. It's like, if you are who you are, it is what it is. The situation is what it is and I have to do this in order to do that or I have to sacrifice this in order to do that or I have to take on more than I, than I, than I really want to. Um, and you're not, I, I like this. I think you're not even complicating it. You're just like, I see what it is. You need me to do this, this and this in order to get here, here and here. And that's coming from the, you know, the, the handbook that you guys are following of traditionality. And you're going to do it. That, that's the best part about earth energy. It's like if someone says, in order to get here, you have to do this, this, and this. You go and do this, this, and this. And sometimes that requires sacrifice. So I think you're on a very, as I see, bottom of the deck, <laughs> ace, of Pentac ace, of, uh, ace of Swords, which tells me that, yeah, you're speaking, that's, you're speaking the truth here. You're, you're seeing for things as what they are. And that requires some, some sacrifice and some... Some doing the most, you know. Thank you for watching. Check out your other signs as well if you would like. Um, if you would like to, your sun, moon, and rising. My name is Alvin Catalan. I'm present. I'm done speaking out.